Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have developed an algorithm that enables computers to learn in much the same way we do. Computers are already capable of learning in a sense, it's just that it takes a lot longer for a computer to learn to, for instance, accurately recognize a particular pattern than it does a human brain. To speed up the learning process, scientists at New York University have developed a program that more closely mimics how humans learn. Rather than teaching the computer how to replicate patterns it sees, the program enables the computer to model the processes that create the patterns and then generate new examples of the pattern itself. This program also allows for the application of prior knowledge to the learning of new concepts. For instance, when its creators taught the program to recognize letters from the Latin alphabet, it was able to then use that knowledge to help it learn to recognize letters from the Greek alphabet. The paper on this human-level concept learning program is published in the journal Science. Next up, a new study has given scientists a better understanding of how form and structure develop in nature. The process that drives the development of form and shape is called morphogenesis, and scientists have been working to understand what causes it for decades. A new study using a method developed at the University of Cambridge and Sophia University might have shown us the key to unlocking that understanding. By slowly freezing tiny droplets of oil and studying the structures that form inside the droplets, the researchers have observed the formation of what are known as plastic crystals, which are prone to change shape over and over again, shifting between a variety of geometric forms, altering the shape of the droplets. Understanding and learning to control this plastic crystal phase could lead to a whole range of applications, from pharmaceuticals to the manufacturing of household goods. The study is published in the journal Nature. And finally, a new study finds that playing 3D video games can boost your brain's ability to form memories. Previous studies have found evidence that playing video games with 3D graphics can improve reaction time and hand-eye coordination. Now, a new study from UC Irvine finds that playing 3D games can also improve the ability to form memories. The study observed a group of college students who were not regular gamers, as some of them played a two-dimensional game, Angry Birds, and some played a three-dimensional game, Super Mario 3D World. 30 minutes a day for two weeks. The students were given memory tests before and after the two-week study period. The results, students who played the 3D game showed significant improvements on their memory test scores. Those who played the 2D game did not. The researchers believe that playing a 3D game engages the brain's hippocampus, stimulating cognitive processes essential to memory. And by the way, the person in this photograph is Craig Stark, one of the co-authors of this study. And that thing he's holding is a 3D printed replica of the hippocampus of his own brain. How cool is that? This study is published in the Journal of Neuroscience. Scientists teach computers to learn more like humans do. No way that's ever going to backfire. Freezing oil droplets allow us to understand more about the origin of form, and playing 3D video games can improve our ability to form new memories. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it, subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already, and also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. Exactly.